Peter Delapena here with U.S. Under-19 Captain Rishi Ramesh after a last ball defeat by two wickets to Canada here on day two of the 2023 ICC Americas Under-19 World Cup qualifier. This is one of the best, if not the best, matches I've ever seen between these two teams at this level. I know that probably doesn't mean much to you being on the losing side, but what are your immediate thoughts in the wake of how the match finished? Um, you know, it's part of the game. Sometimes it happens. Some days you win, some days you lose. But I'm proud of my boys. You know, we took it to the last ball. Um, we fought really hard, but in the end, Canada took it home. It's just some motivation, motivation for us to beat them next year. What do you think was the overall difference in the match that led to Canada coming out on top on the last ball? I think there were a few moments where we were a little undisciplined. You know, there are a few pockets in the game where we, you know, were a little loose in the field or gave a few loose balls, and that overall led to Canada getting over our run rate, but I think we still did really well. For the most part, we were quite disciplined. We did our stuff well, so, yeah. I thought one of the key factors in the match, going back from start to finish, you guys didn't bat out your overs. Bowled out in 38.5 overs. You only scored 40 off the last 10. You had seven wickets in hand at that point. You and Arjun Mahesh had a great partnership going, and then when you got out, things started to spiral downhill pretty quickly. What was going on during the partnership when you, you were together and what impact do you think the inability to finish strong in the last 10 overs had on the end result? Um, by the way we were going, I think we ended up short about at least 30, 35 runs and that would have made a huge difference, especially how the game went. But in terms of how we batted, I feel like it was a little ir irresponsible on my part. I batted through the hard balls. I got to my 50, I should have carried it through. And same with Arjun Mahesh. Although we did bat well, we should have carried it through and led the innings. Even though you feel you were 30 runs short, you guys really did a great job building pressure in the field. You weren't necessarily taking wickets, but you really held the run rate down and made it difficult just in terms of scoreboard pressure, especially in the last 20 overs. I think Canada needed 115 or 120 off, off the last 20, which, even though it might sound like run a ball, it's not that easy at this level. And then 70 off the last 10 they needed. What was the key to success in the field to allow you to restrict them as well as you did? I think for the most part, our spinners bought to our plans and we supported them in the field. Especially in the infield, we were stopping a lot of singles and that built a lot of pressure. As dots went by, the batsman got pressured and led to a few wickets. And for the most part, even in the deep, we covered those long twos and stopped most of the boundaries. I thought one of the players of the match for Ryu was Udkar Srivastava. His three wickets fell, really swung momentum back USA's way, and I thought you guys were going to win once he especially got the captain out, Jay Singh. Um, or I, I take it back, he didn't get the, the captain out. We'll come to that moment in a bit. But uh, the three wickets that he did get were so crucial. What can you say about his performance today? It was excellent. I mean, he performed when he needed to. I brought him in probably the most pressure time of the game, you know, when it was either making or breaking our, our victory, and he, he showed. Although there were a few loose balls here and there, he did an amazing job of keeping the overs tight and not letting them score much. And those three wickets really put us on the, on the front foot. And the wicket of Jason was actually a really good piece of captaincy by you. You held one over back for Parth Patel. You waited and waited and waited, and then you finally brought him back for his final over, his eighth over, and he strikes first ball to get Jason out. Can you talk me through the decision making that process, why you held him back and, and why you brought him back at the moment that you did? It was simply because of the lefty on the other end. Um, our other off spinner, or left arm off spinner, Kush, he was bowling quite well, but I thought that he would be more effective bowling to the righties, so I thought as soon as the lefty was dismissed, I would bring Kush on from the other end, which led me to bring Parth from the other end, and I thought Jay was looking well, but I thought it, a little change here and there would get him to lose his momentum. So I brought Parth in and he did the job. I just wanted to save one over of his spell because he was going really well and to bring him in when it was really key. In spite of the loss, what's the biggest positive you take away from today? Our resilience. I mean, we, we really fought to the end and even though we didn't put up the total that we needed to, I'm really, really proud of my guys for fighting all the way to the end. You know, there, was, there wasn't a moment in the last few overs where we were, we were thinking we were down. We held our nerve to the last ball and unfortunately it didn't go our way, but that's just how the game goes. 
Anything else you want to say about today's match? No. Um, we're motivated, so we'll be Comment. ready next game. You say you're motivated, so in spite of the loss, you know you still have a, a second crack at Canada later on at the end of the tournament. What is the overall mentality now going forward, knowing that you're going to basically have to win out just to force uh, a tie break with Canada through the end of the tournament? I mean, our, our approach is the same. We're looking to win regardless, and of course, a few logistics on the other side, other, other games would help us, but as far as Canada, we're just looking to win and come and put our best foot forward and forget what happened today. All right, USA Under-19 captain, Rishi Ramesh, thanks again.